Welcome to a video walk around from Kelowna Toyota. We are located at 1624 Cary Road in Kelowna, BC, Canada, right here in the heart of the Okanagan. Today I'm pretty excited to show you this 2021 Tesla Model 3. So this is 100% electric, it's riding on 18 inch alloy wheels and it has tons of power. There is so much about this car, I won't be able to cover it all in this quick video, but let's jump right in and start. From the side, we've got the tinted privacy glass and up top, it's kind of hard to see from here, we have a full on tinted glass roof. Then we have the black door handles and the color match mirrors. Moving around to the front, we've got these absolutely beautiful lines, LED headlights and fog lights. And of course, we also have the Tesla branding up front too. Um, so we've got a trunk in the front and a trunk in the back. So there is tons of storage and you can access that uh, through your phone app or your touch screen inside. So let's hop in and take a look at what the interior has to offer. It is absolutely beautiful. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to get into your Tesla. So right up here we've got the sensor and you just want to hold your key fob right on there. Right now I've just locked it because it was unlocked and you can see how the mirror is automatically folded. So when I put it back there again, the mirrors fold. And then we're just going to press that and open it up. So taking a look at the interior door, we've got this beautiful leather and wood grain accents. And then down here is our power windows and you can open the door manually, but it is best if you just hit that button and it will open the door up for you. Moving over, we've got our Model 3 branding right there. And this does have the power drivers and passenger seats. So climbing in, and we will zoom out a bit here. We have the steering wheel. So this is power tilt and telescopic steering. Um, you can go into your touch screen and choose steering and then you use this button over here to tilt or bring it towards you or out. Right up here, you're gonna find your wiper blades and turn signal. Uh, the Tesla does have the rain sensing wipers so if um, when set on auto, it is going to just wipe whenever it rains. Over here on the right is your audio controls. So moving down, um, this is two wireless phone chargers. And then we have a bunch of storage here. We can push that open. And back, we've got our cup holders. And then right here, we have this nice, really deep center console. So the screen, um, right now it's telling us that we need to tap the key card and put on the brakes to drive. So we're gonna do that. We tap the key right down there and it will start right up. So checking out the screen, this of course has a full on navigation system. Um, we're just gonna quickly click there and you can see all of the different apps that you can access and you can add more if you like. Uh, to adjust the climate, we're going to go to our climate control. Right now it's set for the front. Um, this is where you're going to find your front and rear defrost, your air conditioning, it is dual zone as well. And you're also going to find your heated seats, which you can set to auto. Um, if we click or touch this vehicle icon right down here, it's going to bring up all the options. Now there is so many options here. Um, we'll just pick a couple to check out. Um, so if you go to your safety, uh, you're going to find a whole bunch of different things like your park assist, your dash cam, um, sentry mode, which is your alarm. You can set it to that you need to input a pin to drive it if you like. If we go up to autopilot, um, this is where we're going to find everything like your blind spot monitor, your speed limit warning, uh, blind spot collision chime can come down here. We've got our lane departure. Um, 
And then you can choose whether you just want the alert or the assist. Same with the automatic emergency braking, obstacle aware acceleration. And some of these have little things you can press right there and it will give you some more information and let you know what's going on. And then we've also got our traffic aware cruise control, which is pretty much our adaptive cruise control right there. Um, going back up to, you can check out the full self-driving preview if you like. Um, the Model 3 does not have the full self-driving and you can also choose the auto steer, which is would work if you're on a highway with a divider. It will steer for you. Um, if we go to pedals and steering, you have a whole bunch of different options there as well. Um, there is just so much going on here that you really have to come down and take a look to see what all of your options are. So we'll just take a look at this. the seats here. We've got this brand new, super soft, leather interior and this carries through to the back where we have seating for three um two of them are formed like bucket seats uh you can also fold these down which will expand your cargo space if needed and one of the very cool things here is this glass roof so it is nicely tinted so you're not going to get the heat and all the sun glaring in but you can basically look up and see the sky no matter where you are. So we're going to hop out. Oh, first of all, actually, before we do that. So on the Tesla, we have the frunk and the trunk. <laughs> so to open that, we're just going to hit open. And we've got the trunk already open there. I can just close it by hitting there and open it like that. It'll also show you any doors or windows that are open. So we're gonna get out. Um, you can set this so that as soon as you get out and walk away, it will stop. You can put your foot on the brake and use the key fob to turn it off. You have tons of options here. If you get out, you can also tap the key fob where you tapped it to get in, it will turn off. So looking down here, we're going to use this door button and it will open up for you and you just push it. Okay, so let's check out the front and the back. So we're going to come out around front and check out this front. Um, the one very cool thing about this being an electric car is we don't really have an engine to take up space. So we've got storage in the front and the back. Since we push the open button inside, we can just lift that up and we have some really nice storage space right there and there is a few things you can access like your windshield wiper fluid and then right down there so that is the front and we will go around and check out the back so because once again i pushed the trunk button that will open it right up for you and as we move around, you can see it's got that cutout to keep that glass roof going as far as it can. And then moving forward, we've got pretty good trunk space here. Um, right here is your Tesla charging cable. And if we pull this up, we have even more storage going on. Um, and like I said, those seats do fold down 60-40, so you can make that longer if need be. So to close it up, we're just going to press the power button there and you can walk away and it will close right up for you. And as you can see, though it's hanging upside down, we have uh, the OK electric vehicle sign. So you can drive in the HOV lane if you choose. So like I said before, there is a ton of features I have not been able to touch on. Um, this car is just so cool. You really have to see it. Uh, so come down to 1624 Cary Road to check it out. Um, you can also find us online at kelowna.toyota.com to get more details and specs on this Tesla. And if you want to give us a call before making the trip, one of our product advisors would be more than happy to chat with you. I hope everyone's enjoying the sunshine. Please drive safe and we look forward to seeing you soon.